JMD Matias, James Tucker and Ethan Beavers open up more of the multiverse as the Justice League begin to investigate the strange portal above Earth, while their Superman continues his adventure on another world, running into yet another Superman along the way. JMD Matias and James Tucker keep their multiversal Justice League animated continuance flowing really nicely here, giving up enough plot to keep the characters moving forward towards an endgame while also delving into other universes in the multiverse such as the debut of Calvin Ellis and his world Earth 23, which I think is the first time he has ever appeared in the DCAU timeline. I love the issue was broken into two concurrent stories with the Justice League beginning to put things together and realise maybe a multiverse is actually out there, as well as Superman exploring an alternate world and learning some pretty vital information from his what should be arch enemies, as well as meeting a new Superman he can team with, something I am very much looking forward to. Ethan Beavers continues his fantastic DCAU artwork with more great Jack Kirby, Darwin Cook inspired designs and page layouts. Nick Filardi's colours this issue were just a treat to the eyes and were so colourful and really helped sell Ethan's fantastic designs. Justice League Infinity issue 3 was filled with all of the hallmarks of a great Justice League animated episode, from great action and character direction to weirdo multiversal concepts by way of Kirby and Cook, leading to a wholly pleasing instalment in the book first arc. I'm going to give this issue a 10 out of 10. Justice League Infinity issue 3 heads to another Earth in the multiverse where a very different yet very similar Superman meets with his Justice League to discuss the thousands of people who are disappearing around the world. Superman however wants to know what the swirling doom portal above his city is so he decides the direct approach but in doing so he disappears as Martian Manhunter, this universe and the prime Justice League Manhunter sense so much chaos and pain everywhere. Manhunter is helped by a Flash and Wonder Woman as the captured Overman demands to know why he is a prisoner. The very angry Kryptonian manages to smash his way out of the prison, going on a villainous tirade about who will die first, but Wonder Woman and Vixen have had enough of his drivel, knocking him down and allowing Jon Stewart to capture him yet again, yet he continues his screams of oppression. The villain relents when Manhunter threatens to invade his mind again, but the hero isn't happy to have to resort to that, seeing as he left the Justice League and was happy to stay away, yet he finds it funny that one person he cared for is in peril and it brought him back in an instant. Lois and the team demand to know what the vortexes are and more importantly where their Superman is since he has seemed to switch places with Overman. Superman meanwhile is still shocked to find the other worlds Metallo, Zod and Doomsday are all heroes and are working against Overman, whom some of the heroes think is actually Superman in disguise or maybe even a duplicate or a brother. Zod can tell though that Superman is the embodiment of good as he shows the hero their crazy science lab run by the resistance, having stolen and some of Vandal Savage's tech, which in turn they used to turn Emil Hamilton into Doomsday, one of their secret weapons. Thanks to Superman's arrival though, the Reich is in chaos being that Overman isn't there, but the heroes wonder if they can even bother fighting something so large. Superman tries to convince them to keep going when suddenly the base is breached not by a villain, but by Calvin Ellis, who demands to know where he is. The Resistance tries to stop him, but he easily wipes the floor with the heroes, and before Superman can confront his counterpart, they realise that they are one and the same, and not each other's enemies. The Supermen wonder why they didn't switch places as aboard the Watchtower in the main universe, Manhunter finds a homing signal from within the mystical vortex which he follows back to the source with his mind, despite Batman's usual cynical thinking that psychic intuition won't work here. While the heroes prepare for an adventure through the mystery portal, Wonder Woman suddenly disappears and in her place, Bones, a lasso and a tiara are left, the remnants of another unlucky Wonder Woman. Batman wants this to stop and luckily the Atom and Mr. Terrific have been working on a new javelin for the team, a pimping gold one that will see them get through the portal and assist with Manhunter's tracking. The Infinity Javelin races towards the Vortex with Manhunter not offering any reassurances of what will happen when they enter, but he should be able to get them through in one piece. The operative word there being should. As Adam and Mr. Terrific back at ground control reassure Lois Lane that, that the Justice League will return from the unknown in one piece, the heroes disappear into the void, but thanks to the effects of the portal, the ground control team don't know if the team survived or not. In an icy tundra world, Wonder Woman fights against the elements towards a small cavern, taking refuge but knows that something dark follows her. The darkness has a name however and it is Darkseid, who has appeared in the cave, surprisingly offering the hero a helping hand and a warm fire. And 